Adventures in Stray Space, everybody. Last time, you guys went and uh, uncovered a bit more of the mid the mystery on Admiral's Rest, and you found the uh, last recorded will and testament of Edward Hayes and a uh, brain scanned AI of uh, his design that he had trapped there too as a guardian of the knowledge, so to speak. You have discovered that a high-powered con uh, conglomerate of very uh, various powerful men, women, and otherwise in the galaxy have decided that they want to control the um, uh, want to control the galaxy on a scale uh, to which has not been known. Yes, basically Space Illuminati. And to that end, they have created very powerful uh, weapons, and the most powerful of these, of course, is the Genophage Toxin, which was used as a test on Sidori's people, the Vulcrum, eliminating the fem naturally born females of their species. So, now, we return to the adventurers aboard their vessel, and, you know, we'll see what they want to do next. Well, of course, since we're dealing with people that have uh, the absolute best in terms of resources as far as the galaxy knows, uh, my logical conclusion would be we need to go back to the first adventure and get the absolute best that the galaxy forgot. And uh, that means acquiring unobtainium or whatever they were using for their um, pricing so that we can uh, unlock the secrets of the ancient world and have weapons capable of dealing with um, the absurd uh, defenses that these Illuminati have uh, accrued. You raise a very good point. They come past lithium. We do have quite a bit of that. We could always try for an upgrade back of the uh, places. 3,100? Three, three, three nah. Oh, 3,100. No, never mind then. Well, we got, uh, we've had two fucking quantum computers working on that for a couple of months now. We should have some locations from it, I'd imagine. We get a few, but the, the rest required more time to decode. Well, we'll see what we have then. Yeah, what do we have there? Capital Stray. Alrighty. Um... Let us look. I gotta go back to my notes now. Um, do, do, do. Um, all right. So, um, you guys have been looking for more weapon thane worlds and sadly one of your quantum computers has shown you one of their worlds which is probably not going to be discovered until the next planetary rush however as you are pouring over your notes you discover the um, location of another one that is actually within one of the within range of one of the new warp gates has just opened up for the rush. Curiously enough, when you cross-reference this world with uh, data, it appears that uh, there are colonists on this planet, but they don't report anything unusual. It's just a regular Class M planet, which is very odd. Does the M stand for mystery? Mystery. Uh, this looks if... like a mystery gang. Let's if investigate. You... Let's take our mystery machine all the way over there. Fenris, Fenris, Sue, where are you? Do you want a Siggy snack, Siggy? 
Siggy loves a sneaky snack. The snack is dick. Yay, cummies. <laughs> Rapes, Ruby. Okay, I'm going to do some page archiving real quick. I have too many of these. Do, do, do. Is there anything you guys would like to do within uh, civilized space before you go charging off? I like put out feelers to get as much information on uh, who, where, and uh, how best to strike at um, the Illuminati to uh, acquire our uh, priority targets and um, get to the, uh, the depths of their uh, bases, the very top, or at least to the top of wherever we need to go. Um, and I don't know if that would be like key logging software or hiring some uh, black ops people to uh, do some research for us while we're out and about. Uh, Fair enough. Your local spy master can certainly put a um, uh, can simply uh, can put out feelers for you. And, yeah, let me. Okay, that's all good. Um, she's probably going to need about seven hundred fifty credits to grease some palms, though. Does she know any ID protection as well while we're at it? Us appearing under an invisible tag might be good. Uh, yeah, I can cover the 750, no problem. Uh, and I'll give her some of the contacts that I've made in the bounty hunting um, business, as well as some of the people that seemed pretty OK within the UGC. Uh, she needs access to additional scumbags to um, get uh, working on that information. If you come to me, then I'll happily uh, lend my assistance for rubbing charisma on people. It was within my, my glorious skill set. Alrighty. Now then, you've put out your feelers, and um, it looks like you can, okay, dead man switch, okay, and uh, it looks like uh, they can get some people on that, it might take a couple of weeks to get the length and breadth of information you'd need, so I guess perfect time for you to go charging off to a new planet. That way, like Hedra said, it would be best not to go on half cocked, because uh, if we fail, we can't really run away. Uh, but also to get going on it, because like Scow said, um, we don't just want to sit on this information. This is kind of extremely relevant to the entire galaxy. And the longer we take, the more likely they are to find out what we're doing and take a preemptive strike against us. All right, yeah. Yeah, very fair. Plus, some research into the whole stealth field technology can also be done while we're doing our shit. That is indeed true. It is, yes. Let me check my notes again. Your um, two out stealth of five. Two out of five, okay. If I remember correctly, uh, what's your name? Uh, Stray, you mentioned the fact that the uh, Skull's uh, Predator, uh, the stealth belt there. Mm -hmm. No, it was Siduri that had the stealth belt. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that Predator stealth belt, uh, field that it emitted was in similar tech but miniaturized. 
would it be possible to look over this, uh, look it over and do the whole, you know, like fill in, you know, the skeletal part of uh, the missing pieces? Uh, yeah, that certainly sounds like something uh, someone with big brains can get on. Everyone just looks at the big brains. The thick, juicy brains with two C's. Oh, yeah, so multifolded there. Look, it takes time to do it, and I, mean, I guess I can do some preliminary research on our way over. Yeah. And if Sidari doesn't mind not having it for a little bit, I mean, she'll have it back by the planet. Or... As long as you don't break it before I need it. All right. No. And then we did the invention, Papo. Mm -hmm. What's up? Because uh, I want, I keep trying to say uh, Carrot Wind, which is not the character. <laughs> it sure isn't the character. It sure isn't on saving his name, saving. Uh, see, there it is. And uh, because uh, Siggy tends to be really fucking good with the whole looking big brain assistant power because technology is fun. Yes, yes, it is. Sure, Siggy so can assist with whatever. So, what would you like for it, Stray? Electronics or engineering? Perhaps science? Sounds like a plan. Which one? Any any of those that you have the highest score in, apparently. Go for it. Yep. Okay. Sorry, like I said, I think I'm coming down with something, so I'm still a little uh, That's fine. woozy. It's an 18. Uh, an 18 is a good start. We'll do another roll uh, in maybe about a week uh, in game time, and we'll be able to check off a third uh, little box. All right. All righty. So is it time to go to the uh, quote-unquote weapon thing world? I believe so, unless anybody has anything else to do here. That sounds like a resounding no. Wrong. Yeah, sounds like we're going to the yeah. weapon world. All right. So, you guys make your way out of Tavros's orbit and then hit up another warp gate. You have time when you're traveling if there's anything you guys want to discuss among yourselves. Otherwise, um... The trip will be relatively uneventful, and you will emerge on the other side. Is this the, the Grey Goo world? No. 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 This is a brand new uh, world that has... Uh, basically, Jemina uh, has two supercomputers plugged in together, and then an ancient star chart of uh, Weapon Thane maps. And while the galaxy has changed summit, you know, there's... Uh, still some uh, worlds to be found of theirs, and this one has finally pinged. Uh, one with actually within uh, on reach. Hmm? On a galactical scale, scale yes. 10,000 years is nothing. So, While some things may have changed and some stars may have exploded, for the most part, uh, your planet should be uh, close by. But there is also the issue of, you know, um, some of your work, it just won't reach them for a really long time. Like, you know where one is, you found one almost instantaneously, but it was way outside of uh, the current work gate. Yeah. So yeah, supposedly right. this place has a, is a weapon thing world, just uh, no one has reported anything on it, even though there's colonists there. Indeed. So that would, by that basic logic, mean that either it's 
not where the colonies are, or two, and two, very overgrown. I'll shrug. This is a distinct possibility. What type of M class world is it? This is uh, actually a little bit warmer and more humid than Earth. There has quite a bit more uh, jungle and foliage than Ooh. and uh, forestry than uh, on Earth. From one yeah, world to things the next. Were so, yeah, these things were solar absorbed. If anything just covered them up, they would just have much less uh, bigger problem. A uh, much bigger problem absorbing sunlight. Right, but this, we're talking about civilization that, like, had an entire planet of, like, industrialization. Yeah. But it's also been untold millennia since they, you know, stopped. I'm just saying. If yeah, it's well, easily we just found, have to... We just have to find. We know what to look for. We know their, we know what frequencies they usually operate at. So, I'm betting it's an underground civilization this time. What you mean, like uh, a subterranean mining and development? Something like that. I mean, it's a logical guess given that if the colonists can't find it on the surface, then it must be below the surface. Or it's just been overgrown. Uh, there's well, it's three. Guess it depends plants. on the uh, type of planet. Yep. If uh, it has an acidic atmosphere, perhaps it's hiding in the acid rain clouds. Maybe. Well, it's I... an M class planet, so it's. Well, there's a difference between to... hospitable and particularly friendly, but still. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe the environment changed. Not like planets stay the same forever. Or maybe it's a secret. Maybe it's an old black site of theirs that's so hiding beneath the Earth's crust so that it can be used for secret business. Or it's in a volcano. Or it's actually covered in a stealth field and floating in low orbit. It could be fucking anything. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go see it. Maybe it's at the bottom of the ocean. That'd be interesting. Rusty jugglers. Oh, if it's on the water, it might have a bit of an issue. Why? I suppose getting down there would be a problem, yeah. It cuts it in water. We have sealed suits. Depends on the depth. Depends on the depth, yeah. Yeah, it depends on the depth. Look, let's just go down. We'll yeah. figure out what we'll figure this out. Yeah, let's just go down let's and see. Get some. Let's have a chit chat with the local populace and just see how it looks. Better to have boots it's on not... the ground to find out than just worrying about it in the sky. Yeah. We can also do uh, low scans while we're going in. I mean, I can Might do as well. Shot. Yeah. Damn it. That was the wrong layer. I hate myself. I uh, woke up this oh, morning, shit. that's why. Uh, Pretty. Well, you... You're missing a uh, like that advantage for you always need to use. I mean... Yeah, this, this ship is full of smart brain juice. Alright, fair yeah. enough. Let me roll another 1d20 plus 10. I think okay. it's 26 beats of 12. Just a little bit. You can make your scan. You find that it is uh, quite difficult to scan this planet, given the... Uh, uh, the What's it called? These things right here. The, the magnetic uh, stuff or yeah. whatever? Yeah. The particular turbulent ionosphere? Yes. But you are able to eventually get a ping of something that is solid. It is uh, what appears to be um, pre uh, prefab buildings. You would guess that this would be uh, the colony. 
I found the colony at least. That's a start. Other than that, it's just dense and, uh, you know, dense and dark. Oh, can't can a lot of us in here, that's for yeah. Well, at least we know why it's so hard to find anything here. Mm. Hey, Stray, does this planet have, like, any indigenous native life of, like, sentience, or is it just the colonists? The colonists have reported that uh, there are no sentient life forms on the planet, but uh, if you want to read through uh, the logs, um, yeah, it's very strange. It seems as if there hasn't been any communication from the colony within the last week or so. All right, that's weird. Ah, shit. What do you think? So mind I, control? I, ben mind control? I'm betting mind control. Mm. Not mind control again. Take it. Ready up another mm. one. It's always mind control. Why would it never be mind control? Yay! What was that? What did you just say? I'm gonna build a nuke. You oh, already God. did. Don't touch it. You already touch have it. one of those. All right, I have a spare one. Never mind. We're not nuking a colony. Oh. No, after we get him out, after we get him out, thank you. That was gonna We're not colony. nuking a colony, no. Can we drop a moon on it? No. No. Okay. What about a space station? No. We're not okay. drop we're not we're dropping not anything on a colony and we're not blowing a colony up with nukes or any other explosives. Not unless we really, really have to. I feel like I, I have to be it. specific here. There are many non explosive yes. options available to us. Oh, God damn it. Just drop tungsten rods from space. We're not going to orbitally bombard it, no. bombard it either. No, we Let's... do the fucking Gundam and drop a colony on the colony. Ah, see? See? No, we're not performing an Operation British 2. <laughs> you say we're just trying to make some Stardust memories. <sighs> no, but yeah, uh, let's, let's. I guess we'll just have to go just... tow this colony ourselves. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Or rather, ho, ho, ho. I'm enjoying all this revelry. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can say, tow me no too. All right, come on, let's I'm be a bunch all. of heroes. I'm glad you're all having fun. Let's find the spaceport. Well, there's not much of a spaceport to be seen, but there is a very large area that appears to be, um, uh, oddly enough, you know, com literally burned into the uh, burned away from the jungle. Mm. Sounds like a landing well, site to me. Wow, we really are in the well, fucking guess we're gonna land at JFK Airport. They don't even have a spaceport. It's a fucking clearing. Well, it's a colony. They didn't like, have that on the, you know... Even the Manga had a spaceport. Yeah, but Manga has been developed a little bit more than this. This place was, like, have very a... recently discovered. Hey, what about the Magma World? Huh? That didn't have a spaceport. Which one? The ones with the, the giant bugs? World. That plan had only just a mining outpost on it. Yeah, this is a minor colony. It's got the word colony, though. I just imagine something a little bit more put together. It's a pretty enough place, at least. Yeah, it's... Moist, I guess. Oh, you got fucking chili? Oh, that's sweet. I want chili now. Yes. Well, you know what I, go for? I made a great big pot of it. I'm sure you read, so. I do like me some treats, so, uh, you yeah, know, I've got a bunch yeah, of chili, some fluffy rice, cheese, a little bit of barbecue, and a bunch of like Cajun spiced wheat cracker things to like just scoop rice Sounds and meat onto. Delicious. Question, Scott, can I? Uh, can you do me a really big favor and not put the tea in, Sherry? So. 
the pronunciation is different depending on what part of Spain you are in, and I learned it from Catalonians, not from normal Spaniards, so no, I will use chorizo. That's actually how it is in uh, Mexican Spanish as well. Yep, it's different no. everywhere, so it doesn't fucking I matter. I talk to Mexicans. I, I Again, I, it, is, it is everywhere. <laughs> it's I, different. I live in California where the majority of the population, like 36% are uh, from Mexico, so. Yeah, yeah Americanized. Nope, okay. Nope, just trash it. The variances are all over the place. You know, there are four different pronunciations for Barcelona, depending on where you're at. It doesn't fucking matter. And they're yeah. all from literally in Spain, not counting Mexico. Yeah. Bark, Barcelona, full of puppies. It's like Barcelona, 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 and Barcelona. Yeah. Barcelona. Okay, Barcelona. anyways. Barcelona. Yes, I am. Barcelona in the Cocker Espanol. Anyways. So, what do you have uh, landed planet side and it appears that no one has come out to greet you? Curious. Hold on. This doesn't look good. Give me a minute. Disappears. Um, I'm going to do a scan for life forms around, see if we actually have like any, uh, like, known species pings on it. Is that something I can do as a ship scanner stream? Uh, yeah, you can scan for life forms. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything around. Well, uh, the there are life forms all around you. The forest is teeming with life, but nothing that would ping uh, big enough or um, any species that you are aware of. Well, no calm calmness within the our scanner range, at least. I think we just have to go out and try and see what's up. So suit up and make sure you have all your uh all your stuff and wait, are there no colonists in the prefabs? There are no colonists in the prefabs. Oh great, no one here. Mm-hmm. So suit up, get our uh airtight stuff on just in case there's something in the air that's making it all fucky. Oh boy, I get to use use my new suit. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, you get to you get to slide into that fucking rig. Not alone. Alrighty, I guess I will alert the uh, the ants that uh, the colony is empty. So. Mmm, that's not good. Uh, high alert when you're guarding the ship. Alrighty, yeah. Remember to put on the car alarm. Of course, I, I hit the chap chap. Neato. I just love visiting these colonies and finding out now, there's always something wrong. It's a, it's a bad string of luck that we have with this kind of thing. Being That's a colonist it does not seem like a very good idea. Being a oh, colonist right. seems being doomed to be like the red shirts of settlers. Ah, everything was fine on Minga. I mean, you're not wrong. Does being a, does being I mean, a colonist I mean, like, pay well? Like, my yeah. great granddad did perfectly well on Angeles when it first was colonized. I imagine got a you a bunch I of land and everything, and nothing bad ever happened to him. All right. So, what do? Uh, you, yes. What do you want to enter the prefab proper? Yeah. Kachonk, yeah. kachonk. 
No, you look ready to go to war. Well, not the first time we've hit stuff like this. Oh yeah, I I know. All right, so you can enter the facility proper and it is not difficult to uh, for you guys to kind of see, especially the more <clears throat> uh, battle hardened of you to see that this was very hastily prepared fortifications and there is uh, energy scoring around the base, but no sign of corpses or uh, blood. Taken alive, then. All right, we've got yeah. to find some audio logs. Yep. Let's see here. Is there is there cameras around? Would this have been something that could have been recorded? Yep. All right. Well, let's go yeah, find a data station then. We're getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's good for the control center then. Yeah, Just rewatch that movie too. Nearby. Let's find it. It's a great fucking movie. All right, so you can wander the facility, and eventually, uh, I assume you guys are going to go to the uh, the room analogous to uh, security. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. Well, there is indeed a console in the center room, and you can begin going through logs. It appears that um, the big head honcho on this planet was one Dr. Vali, and she has uh, several uh, uh, video and then typed out logs. Okay. So, how do you want to per, uh, peruse the files? It appears to be startling, uh, startlingly unlocked. Apparently she didn't think to Windows L before she left. Okay, curious. Apparently, last notification of this colony was about a week ago, so I start around there then. Go to. Usually, if something leads to up the last week. I mean, sure, but might as well see what we're working with here. What was her last few files? There's uh. A file report um, that is titled uh, "Missing uh, Missing Colonists." There's one um, titled "Rumors," and there's one that is just uh, in all caps. And it was a video file that was uh, trying to be sent out, and it simply says in all caps, "The ghosts are real." Well, let's start with the ghosts are real. This sounds the most interesting. <laughs> Anyone else? Did we end up in space October again? Also, this sounds a little bit crazy here. There's being ghosts. All right, so Dr. Uh, Volley's visage will pop up on the screen. She is a uh, uh, rather dusky-skinned Amazonian cat girl. Instantly recognizable as one of the cat three. And... I agree. Mm -hmm. And she looks haggard and uh, distraught. The, um, the stories, they were real. The, the ghosts of the jungle. I don't know what that damn Johnson found to, uh, deeper in the east, but it woke something up and now we're being chased by sh energy shades. We've uh, barricaded the colony as best we can. We, I am formally requesting UGC military interference. Please save us. Dr. Volley, out. Okay. Well, that's a start. And... Uh, Did the message just not get sent, or... Uh, it, just, it, it did not get past the interference? 
It certainly tried to get sent, and the uh, array looks to be capable of piercing through the interference to the relays, but for some reason, even though uh, it claims to have been sent, you can uh, the file claims to have been sent, but nothing of this of such re was reported, and this log was about six days ago. Okay, all right. So it mentioned another colonist finding something, right? Mm -hmm. Someone named Johnson. Ah, uh, let's go back. See what they go through each log. Is there any logs detailing like Johnson finding something? There's a log that date, uh, dates back three weeks, and then um, she'll say that uh, this is a typed out log that indicates that one of the colonists, a rather dashing adventurer sort, had voyaged deep into the forest and had gotten lost. And when they, uh, when he finally managed to stumble back, he was raving about a temple deep in the forest, and uh, that was guarded by ghosts. Some wow. alien ruins. I bet I've just found where our colonists are. Probably taking to that temple. Probably. Did it say like what, like where? deep in the jungle this guy went to find this temple or is it just deep in the jungle? Only to the east. At least it is a direction. That's where he got lost anyways. Let's go find the bunks. Maybe this guy has a log of his own. I want to go to surveillance real quick and see if we can't get a a sighting of these goats. Or Aaron Shades, or whatever they want to call them. Okie dokie. So, you can pull up the log, uh, the log that was closest to her last message, and let me see if I still have it. Yeah. And you see uh, the colonists firing at and being enveloped by a very familiar sight. Oh, a very Hang familiar on. sight. Oh boy. Oh, hey, I recognize that thing. Oh, shit. At least it gives confirmation it's a weapon scene. World, at least. Downside is, I don't think any of us really know how to deal with those deal with the same way we dealt with the last one? Uh, we didn't fight the other one, did we? No, we we talked to him. All oh, right, right. No, I suppose that could work. If they're not hostile. I mean, hey, we're, we're, we are paying customers. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's a good idea. We should unload the so we should get the uh, compressed lithium, I think it was called. Mm -hmm. mm, I mean, we should probably we should all get, essentially wallet, wallet, with us. Yeah, wallet a case of that up. Make sure you've all got your crystal pistols on hand so that we've got some precast tech on us. Give us a nice cover story to get close. Yeah, yeah that and also presumably precast attack does something against precursors. That's possible. Maybe. But yeah, I'm ha I have a sneaking suspicion those are just holograms. Might be. Probably are. Yeah, solid light ones. Remember mm -hmm. they existed. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what's the plan? Grab up our crestlysium, uh, crystal pistols, and you said you wanted to head to the guy's bunk to try and find things. Kina, mm -hmm. what? 
you said you wanted to head to the guy's bunk to try and find things. Yeah, maybe he, maybe the this Johnson guy has some logs of his own. Yeah, let's go see what he has then. Before we go trotting off into the jungle. Alrighty, so <clears throat> you can certainly go and find this Johnson fellow's bunk and um, give it a look around. But aside from some spare khakis and a uh, uh, and a machete, you find nothing. Hmm. Well, that's good. That's fun. That's great. Sounds like we should hop into the jungle then. Yeah, I guess so. To the east. Let's uh rumble any like security holdings or something and see if there's like a security card or ID or any old communicators or something like that. Might help. Because I half bet that if these guys all got abducted by precursors, that's because this Johnson dude brought something back. And if it didn't go back with them and it's still here, it might be helpful. Just a I shot mean, in the dark. I mean, yes, we were told he found something and brought it back. Yeah, but is it still here or is it with them back in this precursor temple? That's a good question. Fair, fair enough. What, what did the Johnson guy here do? Was he security or was he a postman? Adventurer. He oh, was. He's adventurer. Yep. Right, right. Yep. He went charging off into the forest and came back raving about ghosts, and no one believed him. They just thought he got jungle, uh, you know, jungle madness. They gave him. That jungle fever there. Uh, they gave him, um, you know the prescribed rations of, you know, gin and tonic and told him stiff upper lip. Yes, so... We need to check out because we know what fucking uh, weapon thing check looks like. And we know what fucking frequency is operating at. Should have an easier time to find it if it's here. Mm -hmm. I think Sidori is our most talented invest investigator. <laughs> Perhaps she'd know? Or be the best to take point? I can help her out. Well, I can certainly uh, give it a shot. Okay, okay. Alrighty, is it swoop time then? Uh, how dense is the forest? Can a swoop bike make it through, like the jungle moon of Indoor, or is it like oh, an actual not, forest where you can't fucking take anything? We're not looking for to investigate this place just for anything we might miss. Oh, just ah. this place. Oh, okay, I thought we yeah, were going. Yeah, before we move on to the jungle. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll check the settlement out then. Alrighty, 26. Oh, hell yeah. So, you're able to look throughout the facility. There is no one here, but um, you can find uh, weapon stashes and um, a specific type of ration meant to last long in the jungle's humidity. We're looking oh, for something weapon thingy, so. And an array of flamethrowers. But um, as you're going around, uh, you find a very securely locked uh, lockbox placed within uh, the facility's secure storage. Securely oh, locked, no. no such thing. If we only had somebody with the skills needed 
Yes. Do you want to break into this scenario, me? Uh, I forget what type of check is it to um, go through that. Uh, let's see. What is? I have no memory of going through this stuff. Hang on. Do, do, do. Mm, I mean, is Skills. it an electronic security lock or is it? Electronic, yeah. Oh, uh, actually, I'm not that great at that then. Siggy? Hmm? Over here. Hello? Security? I do not have security, no. Sidori. You don't have electronics? Uh, electronics, yes. It's an electronic lock. Okay, well, let's go ahead and give that a try. I uh, assume assist someone's going to assist me. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure. Nice. Yay. All right. It slides open, and you recognize the type of thing that this is almost immediately. It is quite larger than your guys' sidearms. But this definitely is a weapon thing at energy rifle. Oh, damn it. You're not supposed to shop left. No wonder he is fucked. Ooh. Yep. So he stole something. I will pick it up and look it over. This is neat. Like the other ones that you guys have, it will require Jamina to work on the grip if you want if you want to keep this because it was very clearly made for uh, alien hands but it, it uh, does seem to be um, pretty powerful and if you want to squeeze off a few shots it definitely does more damage than any reaper carbine as much as I'd like to keep it it is stolen and we kind of gotta return it for the colonists yep 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 what a shame. Who knows? Maybe they got some stuff there. Yeah, we could probably buy one. one legally with our, you know, legal precursor tender. Yeah, that's but, true. Uh, not right now, at least. Well, at least it'll take us with us so we can have a bargaining chip for trying to get these people back. Yep. I'm pretty sure I've probably even kept out. like the gift bag that these precursor weapons that we got given came in. So I'll make sure mine's still packed in the gift bag. Always good to have proof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we do have, we can actually communicate with them both ways because we've been to the fucking weapon plane homeworld and the fucking uh, outpost there. Main mm -hmm. shop center, the Amazon Prime facility. We do have a working translation so far, yeah. Of course, so these precursors just the Bezosians. And when Amazon, when Amazon Prime uh, just started uh, just oh. dealing with dealing in fucking PMC tech instead, they just dropped the wow. preamble. <laughs> yeah, you just have your Amazon yeah. Prime. You have your Amazon uh, shipping, which is like their marine world. Where they do all like the spaceships. Uh, let's see. Pet Graven in a jungle. Yeah. That is the point. We're on Amazon Prime. To be fair, if you tried looking up Amazon Prime in this universe's extra net, you would just get good porn. <laughs> Oh, have, oh, oh. I, I appreciated that one. Don't forget you have your Amazon book world where it's just like a bunch of scholars. This is Lord Kindell. <laughs> it's spelled K-I-N apostrophe D-E-L-L. Indeed. But uh, no, it's their research and development. That. Alright. Yeah. So find the temple, I guess. Um... Yep. Alrighty. So, do you guys uh, 3D print any pith helmets for your adventure into the jungles? 
Any what? Ah, okay, you don't know what a pith helmet is. Ye olde explorer helmet. I'm sorry, I oh, never did buy the the um, sexy explorer cosplay uniform. I've got a bunch of different ones, you know, I've got officer and fire person and you know, I've got a good selection, but I did not go for a sexy explorer. Uh, yeah, uh, no, no, definitely not in my purview. Turns out it doesn't do well on streams. <laughs> All right. So, you guys can then begin your trek into the jungles with the purloined rifle. Nope. So, um, you guys can either make it as a group or just do assist bots, but I am going to need at least three survival checks. Okay, so who's good at survival? I have a plus three. Uh, okay, that's one person. I got a so minus two. Train, so, uh, plus three. Because uh, proficiency. So oh, wait, sounds... that would be. No, wait. We got the proficiency three now? Yes. Okay, so a plus four. So, uh, Sidur and I. Yeah, it sounds like we're having uh, Jamina, Sidur, and Scout. You say that you had a plus two? Uh huh. It sounds like we're having you three make the rolls while uh, the other three of us assist, unless someone has a higher than a plus two. I will. Yeah, not bad. Okay, nice, nice. We need two, we need two more rolls, though. Okay. Nice, okay. nice. Okay, alright. It's not too bad. Two out of three, I mean. Yep. So, uh, certainly was uh, no critical failures, so, yep. You manage to make a path through the forest. It's going to take several hours, but um, uh, you guys will look around and then uh, in the area where the guy got lost, and then you can kind of see where you'd get lost. This is very, very samey. But uh, after a little bit of educated guesses, you're able to stumble across something in the forest. And as you walk towards it, it seems as if uh, the very light itself in the uh, atmosphere seems to uh, darken. And then uh, you guys pass through. Uh, it's really tingly and strange, but you force yourself uh, through this strange barrier and a... Uh, building appears before you uh, almost out of thin air. Stealth field. Yeah. Didn't... That was like a similar experience you mentioned there, like our first adventure. Yeah, I mean, our first yeah. adventure was precast attack. Yeah, it was. Oh. Well, isn't this an interesting place? Hmm, very fancy. Uh, are we able to just broadcast a hello? I mean, that's one option, yes. I mean, if we're approaching in peace, it might not be a bad move. I say go for it. Hmm? Last time we interviewed, we, last two times we encountered these uh, precursors, it went well with us by just, by just talking. Yeah, Wait, and I mean, uh, technically, considering we've dealt with a bunch of the precursors worst enemies, we're functionally war heroes now. Let's see how they react. All right. So, there is 
uh, no response at first. And uh, then there is a thrumming of energy. And a fractured being appears before you. I am designation Thalio Alpha Prime. Explain your trespass. We wanted to return some uh, missing goods to you. Uh, we located one of your weapons. This, this is appreciated. Please hold it out. I will hold out the rifle. rifle. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Lean down with like a spindly energy arm and then press something up against it and then it disappears inside of it. Cool. Would you mind telling us about this facility? Uh, we've recently come from uh, fuck, I can't remember the designation of that planet, but we uh, de-scourged and grey Um, This what it was Atuvia. Uh, from Cleansing Atuvia. This is re uh, Weapons Research and uh, Development Outpost 087, also known as Thaliu. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you happen to uh, detain any other um, trespassers or accidental thieves? I have roughly... 1,286 um, uh, trespassers and thieves within containment. Uh, uh, wait. I am awaiting response from Atuvia for their uh, arrangement for passport off and then trial for the crime of thievery and of sabotage. Uh, what process was sabotaged? We have, um, security clearance for a 2VR ourselves and can, uh, likely judge their case locally without any need for transport. One of their kind set off, uh, explosives at the base of the research facility and he'll point to scoring on one of the pylons and I... Uh, cracked and broken energy line uh, just kind of flickers lamely on the ground. Uh, that is unfortunate. Uh, the issue with Atuvia is that in the process of scrubbing it of any threats, uh, a lot of its long-range communications were completely damaged. Uh, we have credentials on our person from visiting there, including docking and security procedures, etc. But unfortunately, your messages to Atuvia will not have been received. Please, <clears throat> please forward your identification. Sure. Uh, I take it our ship can be reached from here with our various techie bits. If not, we little... can, you know, open the bubble for us as a wire. <laughs> It'll be a little annoying, but as soon as you uh, let the energy being uh, know of this, it will uh, ask you to um, reach out with their data pad. Sure. Uh, who actually has all of our nerd stuff on it with that? I, I mean, I've got to assume it's Lyra has all of the Before security codes back. and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you should probably actually take, take lead on that part. I mean, sure, yeah, I can take a crack at it. I mean, just hold out your pad, and then we've got all of that clearance stuff for having gotten on the station. Just presumably you don't, like, delete files like that at random. What do you take me for, an intern? Exactly. Yeah, no, so we can just pull up that pad. So that we can get through and everything. Similarly, we can probably pass him scans of the state of Atuvia, 
Mm-hmm. All right. The energy being will press a hand up against your data pad and will uh, step back and it seems whatever it did gave you clearance to communicate with your vessel and it will uh, wait quietly and then as it goes over all of your information. Ah, very well. This has you recognized as a valued, uh, valued customer and basic scans of your ship have shown that you have legally purchased equipment aboard. I regret to inform you that this is a research outpost and does not have much in the way of uh, much in the way of goods to be sold. That's fine. Uh, if it were possible to get a relay between yourself and the remaining portions of Atuvia, would you be able to hand them your research so that they can manufacture? Because they would not have received anything researched here for a long time. Cough, however many years it was. A very long time. That is a meanable valued customer. Indeed, that would be great. Um, on the other hand, the people that you've captured are uh, unfortunately idiot primitives who were not aware of what it was that they were uh, interfering with or devaluing. Uh, would you be uh, willing to let them go into our custody? We can move them to Atuvia ourselves or uh, pay any necessary fines and get them out of your uh, energy hair, so to speak. The data I have available for you will be um, cyber encrypted so that you will you may not go back on your deal. However, I cannot cyber encrypt these humanoids to not attempt to escape custody. That's fine. We have the necessary physical force required. Uh, that said, uh, you're capable of replucking them up at any time. Would you be willing to allow them to remain on the planet while we check their case with Atuvia? Uh, there is no need to keep them in close custody. Their current living situation isn't an issue. This, House arrest, so to speak. This is amenable. Thank you very much. Your payment I have marked as um, complete upon delivery for the data. Sure thing. That shouldn't be a problem at all. I will release them under your custody. Is there anything else, valued customer? Uh, no. If you have any uh, hardware, though, that might assist in the setting up of uh, a relay directly between yourself and a two of you, that would be appreciated. They don't have much left in orbit right now. I have the data nodes necessary, but not the um, sheer amount of equipment. This station was damaged during orbital bombardment. That is a shame. Would you, would you happen to have locational uh, data if we can start uh, reconnecting? The various stations together, you can form a net. I will give you the location of known open, uh, worlds open for business, but any hidden facilities and research centers are strictly closed to all but the weapon things. This is amenable. Uh, 
All right, so okay. it's going to reach out, uh, well, I'd say a hand, but and a tendril of energy, and then um, it appears that it wants to drop something into Fenris's hands. Oh, uh, open my hands. All right, so uh, a glowing... Uh, I, I don't know how, to, how you say it, didecahedron? You know, like, uh, it's a crystal ball, but it's all ha has flat edges. A glowing oh, uh, d20. It's a d20. Uh, I mean, polyhedron is just, you know, multi-sided shape. It... Do de do Dodecahedron? Yeah, dodecahedron. Yeah. It looks like they're very annoying, confusing Rubik's Cubes. And it is uh, made of the same crystalline uh, stuff that is very familiar to you because it lines your ship. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, yeah, we can get this passed on to Atuvia in exchange for payment. Uh, and where will the people uh, be released from custody? Are they being teleported back to where they were acquired from, or will they be walking out the front door? I will return them to their strain, their weak little box. Okay, if you could give us enough time to get to the box ahead of them so that we can explain on their arrival, so that they are not left confused, that would be appreciated. Very well. Thank you. Save ourselves a problem of them immediately all trying to like fucking shoot off planet the moment they arrive again. Yeah. What do we uh, tell seems them? like it would be a real bad idea. What do we tell them? Gas leak? Use one of gas. It was, like, a, it was a weather balloon. Swamp gas. It's just swamp gas. Swamp gas. It's a weather balloon. No, we should probably tell them that, that Mr. Johnson here, the fucking dick, went and blew up a precursor relic, uh, and is now being, <laughs> now every colonist here is being kept on house arrest until we've passed their case along so they don't get vaporized or frozen forever. Please don't try and leave, that would suck for you. They will. Vaporize. They, they might, they might, but we'll have to announce that we can't no, no, promise no, no, no. their safety if they... Hold on, I, I got the tab no. saved with the... Yeah, uh... but people being vaporized on that one planet. Yeah, yeah, we can show them yeah. the <laughs> the risks inherent. <laughs> that they will just get yeah, killed like... by invisible lasers. Yeah, if you try to escape or do something stupid, this is gonna be you from just ashes in the air. Yeah. Not even ashes, that thing was was scattered to its fucking preconstant atoms. To molecule. Ripped apart Atomized. molecule by molecule. Alrighty. So if you have nothing else, the Thalia Awful Prime will disincorporate and... Uh... I, I did. I was gonna ask to say, not much in terms of goods. That means there's some goods. Yeah. The real yeah. experimental shit. The uh, overcharged plasma shit. Ah, oh, this is good shit. <laughs> yeah, but that's also the don't roll the one shit. I ain't ready for that life. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of tempting. I won't lie. Oh, we can check. Come on, we can check where it has. Okay. Yeah, We're not going we to can at least see. Necessarily use it. Uh, we can see the catalog. We can we can browse. Just name the well, gun. Well, I mean, they've handed us that information. It's just super encrypted. I think we'll get it. We'll get shown it all on Atuvia, if anything, oh, and then okay, they yeah. might print it there for us with their machines. Oh, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. have the means for that shit here. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Let's go calm down some colonists. Hey, that means that this week, that means that this we get to visit uh, the GUIs. It's true. We get yes. to see how our best friendos are doing. 
Yeah, Goose. best friends. Okie dokie. You just get back and the whole yeah. planet is just one giant goo face that waves at you. Oh, that would be fucking horrifying and, you know, planetary tilting. A giant goo arm stretches out like fucking end of Evangelion and just waves. We so, accidentally oh, made shit. Unicron and now the face planet moves from place to place eating and absorbing. My god. I don't know which is worse. We have the end of Evangelion, or we have Unicron. Mm. I think and it's, Unicron is worse. And it's voiced by uh, old man, um, friggin, uh, uh, God, what's his name? The, the actor. Yes, the actor. Mm -hmm. Damn it, the actor. Welles? Orson Welles, thank you. <laughs> it's like the, fucking huge. the fucking, the guy, the, the big guy, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Ah, the French. Yeah, Renowned for their wine. <laughs> Man, that fucking P commercial was such a fucking phone in, but he didn't give a fuck. Full of rich goodness and green penis. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I can't wait for the for the gray goose to just just to be a a, a horny planet sized go. It's high sh it, it, it's high best friend shall be heard across the galaxy. It just uses your ship as a dildo. I've seen this porn before. No, you know what would be even worse because I think about this in two seconds. If it's a planet sized goo, it just plucks one of the mines. Absorbs it, decodes it, and starts co uh, copying, copying it back. It integrates that uh, multiplication, copying effect that, that the minds have. Let's not talk about this. Let's not talk about this. Yeah. Well, at least they'll repair the long range antenna so we can actually talk to the rest of the galaxy. In like a hundred years. Alrighty. So, did you get everything you needed out of this guy? I believe so. Yeah. Alright. Do -do -do. You guys can make your way back, and there is, as soon as you arrive, there's a shimmer of energy, and people just start falling out of apparently nowhere. Yeah, I'll see if I can catch some. It's only a few a uh, few feet off the ground, but yeah. Oh, I mean, obviously all of us have to be positioned exactly to just like catch one so that they are swooning. Got a, got a hero catch him. Ophelia, you have to catch the cake threat leader. <laughs> okay. It's just how that works, you know? <laughs> you got to be right. positioned so that everyone gets their my hero moment. My hero. Oh yeah, uh, which one is the biggest, like? <laughs> the my... fucking unit. Yeah, no, I mean, my my suit is literally designed to handle that, so... I guess you could catch a dragon as he falls out. Nice, just catch him effortlessly, nice. All right, so, <clears throat> uh, Captain, do you want to make me a dexterity save? Uh, dexterity save. Oh, sure. Let's see. Fifteen. Okay, yeah, that's enough. You can catch Doctor Volley if you want. I'll give you. I'll give that to you. Okay. She uh looks around like wide eyed and panicked. What what happened? Where's the ghost? Uh the ghosts are gone. Play safe for now at least. 
Could you, like, call an assembly of everyone here so they don't try and leave the planet? Otherwise, they might get vaporized. Hey, what? Hold on, I'll just connect up to Zam. Zam, do hall rejection in that. We'll show the video of the thing getting vaporized. Yeah. Yeah, vaporized. I... I don't understand any of this. That's fine, we will catch you up to John, speed. Just, we John. don't want to get anyone like at hurt. Johnson stumbled across some alien bullshit and pissed it off. Yeah, to make a long story short, Johnson fucked up. And the rest of you and the rest of you are kinda paying for it. God damn that man. You're basically under house arrest right now. Yep. Please don't <sighs> try and leave. Uh start from the beginning, if you would. Right, so this planet has some ancient alien stuff on it. Right, got that part. Uh, your buddy Johnson had managed to get into that area, stole some stuff from it, and uh, blew it up a bit. Blew it? Blew it up a bit. And understandably, I... the P- the AI? The thing in charge of the place is a little bit angry at it. I am going to slap the round off of that man's ears. The th alien thing. So what? That was an AI. It's just sort of. I mean, they're like an AI that constitutes as being. Uh, just go the with population. It. It's the it's the best explanation for it. Just call it an AI. Yeah. But yes, understandably, the AI was kind of pissed about, you know, his place being blown up. Wanted to pursue Johnson for crimes and, uh, well, considered you all to be harboring him. Yeah. Uh, basically, imagine you came across, like, uh... Reaper tech, and then you broke into their R and D lab, and then blew up a wall. And why didn't it attack you? Oh, uh, because we're awesome, and we returned what got stolen, and we've had dealings with them before. I don't know who decided to stick the crystal rifle in a random ass lockbox, but if we hadn't had that, it would have made life a lot harder. Lockbox. Uh, all right. So, ancient angry hologram is angry and won't let us leave. Um. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, we at least have to pass your case on to <clears throat> another AI, who we kind of actually might have the most sway over, so you guys are probably fine in the long run. Just in the short time, don't do anything stupid. Yeah, or else... Press play on the video. Vaporize. Mm. Yeah, I got that the first time. Alright, well, thanks, Rushers, I guess. You're welcome. I'll get to putting every, you know, putting everyone away and um, maybe keeping people from beating Johnson to death. Maybe not... put him in, like, do you have a brig? Protective custody? Protective custody. That's it. Yeah, you should tell them that him, you know, remaining alive to pay off his debts to this, you know, alien form is, is for the best. So that way no lynching happens. I don't actually know if that's necessary, but I can probably for the best to say it is. Very well, then. So how do you like this place? Excluding this event. Well, I was having a lot of fun before this happened. Not to tell. And then, you know, a new world. I get to run around on, collect samples. You know, the water's nice and clean. There's no mega predators out there nomming on my butt. Very pretty. The whole planet's the same color of my hair. That kind of thing. Out of character, there's a reason there's no indigenous fucking life form. They're only fucking goddamn solitary confinement spaces. 
Nah, I just that character. I mean, that's a reasonable guess. It's a decent, educated guess. There was only like a thousand. He says there's only a thousand in there. Yeah, a thousand individuals that they stuck for how fucking long? No, those Not are colonists. Only. Those are the, the colonists, yeah. No, no. Well, the, all, all the colonists were a thousand? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a, actually a much bigger fucking colony than I expected. I mean, grand scheme of things, it's a relatively small colony. No? That's actually pretty fucking big if you're just starting a colonial outpost. Normally, a fucking colony is quite smaller in the hundreds. A fucking thousand plus is actually pretty big. I mean, we're, we're talking like galactic empires, and I think their colonies are, are going to be quite a bit larger than our expectations. Uh, either way. Shall we make haste to uh to our AI friend then? We need around five hundred individuals to repopulate a planet. Uh so it's probably best to take twice that number just in case of incidents or accident. So a thousand doesn't sound so or, bad. Or an incestuous. <laughs> yeah, well five hundred is what you uh, would need to like avoid baseline. incest before, yeah, yeah, so that the the bloodlines can keep flopping around. Plus, this way, more options. Just like one person, and then the four hundred ninety nine in the area. I mean, if you only have like, if you only have five hundred, you really do have it. You have to keep track of everyone's genealogy. Just to make sure there's no accidental stuff down the road, but if there's a if there's a thousand, yeah, like the really Mormons. The Mormons have like a absolute insane level of detail check on their fucking family lines. Yeah, but they mostly populate bug planets, and that never goes well for them. That is true. Alrighty. Mostly because they're so much smaller than us. So and you know, have fewer legs. Let's head, let's let's get back to the ship. To Tuvia. Tuvia is the first planet. You guys are talking about you want to go to Goo Planet. To Goo Planet. I Wait, then which one's a Tuvia? The very, 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 very first one. The where... resort planet? It was it, it was uh, you know, uh selling stuff and, and yes, it was a resort planet, the Weapontain world. You have this is the third Weapontain world you've on. You've been oh, on. Alright. There's the first one okay, where you guys uh, first met them, and oh. then it, you guys were started talking about, oh, you know, the goo planet, and then I was like, oh, well, that's a different one, but yeah. That's I thought the goo planet was the, the damn, I yeah. thought the goo planet was the yeah. Tuvia. It sounded like you were saying, you know, that's the one that got damaged, and that's the one you would have gone to about the oh, I mean, defense. They, they all got damaged. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, but we were referring to goo planet, like, main world. Ah, well, That's you guys right. said the first, you guys literally... No, I, I said, the first. said the one we came back from doing the cleansing on. I don't think we did any cleansing on that other one. No, we sure did not. No. We was referring to the good planet this entire time. Yeah, I, I okay, thought the good planet was a Tuvia. Yeah. Can we, can we swap name insert with whatever the fuck a Tuvia was then? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, obviously, like, we were all talking about, like, goo planet just apparently wasn't named Tuvia. Our characters yeah. knew this. We just didn't. Well, we can right. still we'll we can still go to the Tuvia then. Let's head there no, we then. Can't I go to Tuvia because uh, y'all remember the blockade bullshittery and what happened afterwards. Yeah, that planet got declared tainted space. The yeah. other one you guys have uh, go to is Argonus. Well, maybe they can reroute their fucking this communication. 
Yeah, Ar- Argonish. I yeah. think that's what we're talking. Yeah. Dragonus. Argo Anus run. All right. So you Argonian guys. Argonian Anus. You guys may lift off and start making your way back there. And if you recall, it actually requires a bit of traveling to get to this one. So that means uh, we can do another check for your guys' stealth system. Oh, right. Yes. You want another electronics? And you get... Yep. Sorry, I was uh, yawning. I'm still, I'm still dying. That's fine. Well, it's not fine you're dying, but, you know, you know what I meant. 29. Oh, hell yeah. Alrighty. So, you guys are now three-fifths of the way for an active stealth uh, generator for your ship. Uh, yeah. And you make your way through the mines, and you return to... Weapon planet. Oh no, it got pixelated. Oh, never mind. It is. Where is Saban's tokens? There they are. Let's see if there's any goose already tokenified. If they're not, just take a regular goo and put a gray filter on it. Nope. Well, we'll just copy over one of these. Oh god, I just noticed it's in the background and it annoys me. There's like this weird little squiggle. Nope, there it goes. It does not work. All right. And when you uh, hail the weapon thing drones once again, uh, to your surprise, you do not get the same uh, AI response. But instead, uh, gray goo appears on your screen. Friend. Friendos, hi, welcome back. How's it going? Hi. Have you guys been having fun? Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. There's a lot of us now. That's oh, yeah, I don't weird. doubt that at all. Oh, everyone yeah. says hi. Hi, everyone. And we can just hear it rattle our <laughs> The planet rumbles. I'm detecting some kind of odd geological activity under the surface of the planet. It's, just, just, it's just what happens when a million synchronized beings say hi at the same time. See a face emerging from the giant crack. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh no. God. Oh no. Oh god. Oh fuck. <laughs> the planet hungers for cum. <laughs> Space hugs! No, that doesn't happen. So, wait, you guys come back to have some fun? All of our friends got, are, you know, they're no fun anymore. Uh, some fun, yes. Uh, but also, um, well, we have a bunch of uh, information that would be super handy if we could have you sort it out. Uh, do you have access to the old AI's, like, security information and all that? I mean, Grumpa Lumpagus is still around. Oh, awesome. Uh, you just hear a, a voice. My name is Argonus Prime, not Grumpa Lumpagus. Hi, Argonus Prime. Uh, we happen to come across, uh, your research facility in... I already forgot the name because I'm terrible. Uh, uh the planet was called Thaliu. Oh. Yeah, uh, uh, Thalia, uh, the Thalia Research uh, and Development Area. 
uh, some colonizing uh, aliens of like our generation and therefore lesser technology uh, accidentally broke one of the pylons uh, and triggered its response to essentially imprison all of them. I'm wondering if you could push a pardon through. Also, we have a whole bunch of old research technology for weapons and stuff that you might want. And some data probes to put up so you can reestablish a connection. That station has been out of communication for roughly 9,800 of your years. Well, we have a stack of data probes and a stack of, well, uh, very, very encrypted information for you. Uh, and also for a copy of that to be sent on to Atuvia. Very well. Please re uh, land at docking station number 87 on, uh, in City C. Awesome. All right. Oh, another one of my sisters will say hi to you there. Awesome. I love awesome. all of your sisters this week. Ah, uh, we love you too. Best friends. How's, how's the cleaning process coming along there? This planet has been entirely decum, de decumanized? That's the word. Decumtated. Hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> We've been running de jizzers on, on maximum for, for years. All right, awesome. <laughs> Fucking goo time. I love goo time. It's goo time. The crack of this planet is it just going to end up turning into a giant vagina? No. It is. It's got all those hard edges. They're going to fix that. They're going to turn it all into soft. Here's the thing, we need to find fucking asteroids and then just pull them into a low orbit. Oh, what, and then this plant's gonna pack man them up so it has raw material? Yeah, and repair itself. Th that makes sense. I suppose we could tow some asteroids. I mean, you're assuming that, like, the Grey Goo doesn't just, like, subsume some drones and go out and pull some asteroids itself. That's true. It could probably do that. It might want to do that. I have no idea. I will rec we could recommend it to him. Definitely. Anything to help out our best friends. Well, there's a problem with that. Remember, there's a fucking giant ass minefield that needs to be. I mean, they can deactivate know, that. Specifically I mean, made to stop that. I mean, it works. It works out well because it's. Uh, uh, we can we can supply codes for them. We 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 got through the great enemies' defenses. I'm sure. Uh, Argonus would love to have the Grey Goo help him out and uh, repair his planet. Tarts. All right. So you proceed to City 3, and an identical face appears uh, in front of you. Hi! Hi. Wow, you are just as pretty as your sister. Aw, thanks. There's a lot of us waiting for you guys. Go ahead and uh, do your dockings. I can't wait to dock with you all. There's gonna be so much docking. <laughs> Should I back in or? <laughs> What's your preference? Deal of choice. Ah, just hurry just up and land, small... silly. All right, I land. Just small flick in the back of the head. <laughs> Fine. All righty. So, um. You guys will uh, dock, and the um, airlocks will give you the all clear. And apparently, this planet has been entirely decontaminated and decommonized, which is why they're glad you're here. Hooray! Oh no, they need new, fresh cummies. It's true. Oh no. Uh oh. Hmm. It's true. Obviously, we can't stay, but we are we are happy to it keep. You keep them nicely refreshed on what the good cummies is like. I, I think our brothel is going to have to run over time for this place for a little tiny bit. Yeah, right. they know we... They know they can use the brothel for a bit there and 
but they know that we're gonna have to leave. So, uh, the, um, I assume you guys open the door. I yes. first, before we open the door, I check the external camera and let's see what's outside, see what is outside the door. Um, roughly, uh, you know, around a, a hundred Grey Goose, all bouncing eagerly on heels. Bouncy, bouncy, mm. bouncy, jiggle, jiggle. Who's at the front of the line to go outside? You want me to, like, I'm the biggest one, so you can all take shelter behind. Conga line. I mean, they're about to drive a conga well, line or something. To rush, I open to... the door. Yeah, I have to. I fall that second. Yay! All right, I roll out. So, um, what's going to happen is you guys are going to be uh, quite literally flooded with Grey Goo, who are very happy to see you. There is a resounding amount of hi and welcome back, and we missed you, and also hi. Of course. Mm -hmm. I will try and say hi as much as I can before my mouth is occupied. Yep. Same here. Yeah. Uh, one of the goos will, uh, you know, uh, take the uh, the crystal from Fenris and then pass it on to another one of her sisters who pouts. And then she informs her that if she uh, hurries up and gives it to one of the Grumpalumpicus, uh, she won't miss a thing. And she uh, runs out the door. And indeed, the goos descend upon you. Do any of you resist the goo time? Oh no. Oh, no. Whatever uh, will we do. Uh, Why would we I'm resist our best friend? <laughs> well, A, you can resist because you, your gray goo got armor. I mean, physically, yeah. yes, though. That's, ne that's not the matter. We, we could try and physically defend ourselves if we so desired, but... Why would we? <laughs> Well, they also know that we need to. They know that we need to talk to Grandpa Lump guests as well, so we can. We can do this for a little while, but we still have things to do. Oh, okay. That's true. But in mm -hmm. the meantime, we have a brothel. We have many people to play with. That's true. Uh, and if the ants would like to join in as well, like fucking ship orgy is is absolutely on the table if they are interested. Every single ant is interested. Excellent. And um, as the goings and comings begin, the uh, other members of your crew will uh, saunter out for playtime. Oh yeah. Even, uh, even Smith finds herself. Uh, you know, a uh, nice, big, squishy lady. Of course, of course. Well, it's like, if any of them are too small, then obviously you just, you know, have two of them slam into each other to become big for a little while. Station! And all your, uh, all of you who have goo armors, uh, they will peel themselves off of you and excitedly hug their, you know, sisters they haven't seen in a really long time, and meeting new sisters. Yeah. And also, oh, yeah. they can probably, I assume, uh, uh, integrate a bunch of information they've all learned off each other. Yep. That's some instant information sharing. Yep. Yeah, hugs and cocks first. That's just how uh, information gets shared among Grey Goose. And so, uh, I guess a couple hours will pass by. No one... Uh, spoke up saying that they didn't want to be a part of the uh, the goo orgy so yeah um the goos get uh more you know more yummy cummies and you guys are able to you know satisfy yourselves up on the gray goos eventually uh the uh throng will part just for a moment and uh a, a rather large uh but still able to fit within your ship drone appears hovering above the, you know, uh, satisfied mob. There's no justice quite like mob justice, you know? Package. 
package confirmed received payment in full and it will uh you know thunk uh, one of its uh arms will um reach out and uh a cavity will open and will thunk a rather uh, large well it appears to be like a space briefcase uh upon an area that isn't covered in goo yeah that's gonna be hard to find and then we'll all right well i guess stunk it in jamina's uh arms and we'll give uh you know a confirmatory couple of beeps and then uh drift out so how Sweet. much we get from him when do we wake up Well, it's only been a couple of hours from now. Yep. And so, um, you know, there are for the the lot of you are in you know incredibly robust. So there are probably still who's either pumping into you or getting pumped by you. But uh, you know, Jamina is able to open up the case because you know, big, strong, even uh, you know, big. Mm going to even uh, really jostle her too much. And you uh, find brick after brick of compressed lithium to the tune of 20,000. Nice, nice, nice. nice, nice. I don't suppose uh, the uh, AI here, Ar Argonus, is that what his name is? Yep has a new catalog with uh, all this new data for us. Catalog will be updated shortly, but it all has to be uh, translated, and then, you know, the actual machine needs to be told what to do. So, if you want to spend a couple of days with your new friends while he gets that set up for you, it's certainly a thing you can do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, is this is this the AI that we have to like get the judgment for the people from, or is that a two the end? Uh, he can uh, do that. It, he will inform you that uh, they will have to pay for the damages to the system, but apparently they were ignorant of what they did, so. Um, and since you are valued customers, then they will not, he will not uh, instruct vaporization as a consequence. They will need to merely pay a fine of 1500 compressed lithium. Right, right. So, okay. unfortunately, uh, as they're so backwater, they don't have access to compressed lithium. Is, is there an alternative payment method they could use? Advanced forms of weaponry hitherto unknown to us will suffice for our own edification. Hmm. Is there anything we've done that these guys haven't? I mean... I mean, fuck it, we could just pay their debt ourselves and they pay us in normal ass credits that we know how to spend. This is true. We could just do that. Like, we, ha we have 1500 no problem. Yes. And they can just pay us in normal ass credits. Yeah, yeah. I have a question. Just a, just a quick question. Can the drone scan our mainline gun? And see what they think of that? I mean, they can, yes. I would be say a little bit here. I just asked them to do a scan of the of Spinar and fucking uh, main cannon. Main cannon is uh, sufficiently advanced, although for payment in full, it would be dismantled and studied on our planet.
Are you suggesting that you wish to pay their uh, fine valued customer? Uh, to have their to to just ex expedite their freedom, they can pay off their credit. <laughs> we can pay it off. They'll owe us later to be collected at our courtesy. Yeah. Yes, as as they're sufficiently backwater, but, uh, they wouldn't be let, able to pay very let, well. But we I don't do. want to give them our spine weapon. Can we just pay them the lithium? Let's, let's just pay them the lithium. Yeah, 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 I know, but we still have the they got schematics for those repairs. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can we can at least give them the data and the schematics on the weapon itself. Extended inventory will be available within 34 of your hours. This appears to be mostly small arms and crew operated weaponry. Oh, I like the sound of this. I like. Mama like. Yes, yes. Very well. Crew operated. Please enjoy your stay with your um, special friends. And there's a chorus of yays. Well, hooray. All righty. So, uh, you guys can spend two days aboard this planet. I will update the weapon thane inventory over the next week it's mostly going to be like uh rifles and heavy uh, heavy ordnance with possibly some shield belts and stuff thrown in oh now we're talking oh, yeah. I, bl I blanked that for a second what uh rifles small arms crew operated stuff and possibly shield belts oh that's interesting all right and as I suspected, I am beginning to feel pretty ill. So I think all this talking is exacerbating my condition. Oof. Yeah, if you need to go, and understandable. We can we can probably cut off here. Next week we will uh, deal with the expanded inventory and further advancing your warship before you take on, you know, the big bad. We certainly will have the credits to buy some juicy upgrades. And All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I have an idea. I have a really fucking stupid idea. We still okay. have some of the samples from the fucking uh, energy reflecting uh, bugs. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah. See if we can't get a few extra lithium <laughs> for it. I just lift the fucking main developer of energy weapons had like their ultimate countering in their hands and can study it. Like the big mega sample we sold to the Spinora, the good shit, and all the data, but we still have some of the smaller samples. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, how about that straight? Uh, certainly. One. Think uh, certainly a thing that he will look over. If you give him one of the samples, then he will uh, begin research on it and give you an upfront payment of 500. And then depending on the results, an additional uh, beneficiary reward will be granted to you. Sounds good to me. Yeah, works for me. Yeah, yeah, and I just dropped the idea of like maybe some form of uh, surface reflecting coating, if the properties can be mimicked. Certainly a possibility, but like I said, this uh, all this talking is making me really green under the gills. So yep, yep. But 
Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I hope you feel bad soon. <laughs> yep. Fingers crossed you haven't got the Rona. Uh, that's certainly a possibility. All right. Keep up your vitamin D and zinc. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. Thank you, as usual, for running. Indeed. All right. And if you're watching on uh, YouTube or Twitch, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow for uh, Bunes in the West. Till then, have a good one. <laughs>